So here we are with the AquaDo programming challenge and we're going to put in the first bits of code into our game. And so let's look at our task list and see what it is we need to do. Now the first task was to do a main menu but I've already given you that. Uh, so the next part we need to do is develop the part of the program where players enter their names. After both players have entered their names the program should return to the main menu. So we just want a nice uh, simple subroutine that allows users to enter their names and it saves those names to the um, global variables that are storing the players names. So let's go back to Replit and let's make that happen. So I'm going to put all of my subroutines just before my forever loop that starts my game. So I'm going to put it in just here and I'm going to say def because I'm going to define a new subroutine and let's call this set player names brackets brackets colon and Replit also uh, sorry automatically indents my next line because whenever you write code that's part of a subroutine it has to be indented that's how Python knows it belongs to that subroutine. So we're going to be making use of the global um, variables and I'm just going to minimize some of these blocks of code so that they're it's easier to see my way around let's just collapse them so our global variables are up here and p1 name and p2 name are the variables I'm going to be making use of so I'll do global p1 name p2 name so I'm going to be setting or assigning new values to those variables so I have to use the global keyword because if I just did p1 name equals blah 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 then Python would think that that was a new local variable called p1 name within the set player names subroutine but it's not we want to use the existing one that's sort of outside the ring fence around the set player name subroutine so we use global to tell it that okay so we know how to get uh, some data it's pretty easy um, from the user we can just um, and we can just use an input and I'm not going to write directly to the variable because um, it might be that they enter some invalid data so if they did that I wouldn't necessarily want to have lost um, my p1 name so let's just say uh, enter um, enter player one's name and p2 is going to be input enter player two's name okay and what we can do is at any one point we can actually say uh, we might want to test these and see if they're if they're blank or not blank so we might say well in fact we could add that in we could say uh, leave blank for default uh, value okay so we can just pop that in so we'll say well if you if you don't actually put a, a name in if you just press enter then we're not going to change the name so um, we need to now test have they entered something or have they just put nothing in so let's say if p1 equals equals because it's not assigning a value if we were assigning we'd be using a single equals but we're testing a condition so we use double equals if p1 equals equals uh, or actually let's say not equals exclamation mark not equals nothing quote quote nothing in it then we can set p1 name is equal to p1 so that's saying if what they've typed in is not blank or nothing then we can now reassign uh, the value of p1 name to whatever's been typed in and stored within p1 we do the same for player 2 so if p2 is not equal to nothing then p2 name becomes equal to p2 and that's all we need to do so that's our um, our routine that's going to take in some names and it's going to set them uh, to the global variables so how do we make this run because if I if I run my game again and if I do one enter player names um, nothing happens it doesn't seem to work and the reason is I haven't yet hooked that function or that procedure into my main menu so I'm gonna go to my main menu I'm gonna expand it and I have to find the code where this should be run so it's it's option one so it's going to be this elif menu choices one so instead of pass I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna put the name of the function or sorry the procedure that um, has the code that I want to run so that's set player names so I just put the words set player names bracket bracket into uh, the elif menu choices one and now if I run my program and I do one to enter player names I'll be asked to it will run that bit of code so Dave and Jane 
Okay, and that's done it. Now, it hasn't done anything particularly impressive, um, but it has um, it has run and it's gone back to my main menu, which means I believe we have successfully completed part two, which said develop the part of the program where players enter their names. After both players have entered their names, the program should return to the main menu.